Oh, it's live! We're about to get live. 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 I ain't gonna lie. I can't even move no more. She done gave me this tequila. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Let's Pop Up! So Let's Pop Off is, you already know, interactive talk show created by moi, the girl Super Cindy. And you get to talk. You get to say what's on your mind, not just us. We can't, we're not the only ones who talk, all of us talk. And also online, shouts to everybody on YouTube. Make sure you let everybody know to go on the link of YouTube, on my page, Super Cindy, S-U-P-A-C-I-N-D-Y, and watch us live. Also shouts to everybody on Facebook, IG, all that good stuff. How y'all doing? How, How y'all doing? doing? So let me introduce you. Well, wait, first of all, uh -huh. this is a special Let's Pop Off muck what, bang what, what, edition. What, what, what? So we're about to get our E on in a second, but let me introduce yeah. you to my co-host right Woo! quick. Yeah, yeah. To my left, we got Big Will. You already know what's what happened to man Big Will. That's the two but the one. Talk to me. Talk to, <laughs> to me. my left, we got Bugatti. You already know what it is. It's your girl Bugatti Black. You busting me, I'm busting, busting back. back. Talk to I'm skipping you. <laughs> Next, we got my girl Taylor May. I mean, Woo! you made Taylor. me say that. Taylor Moon. <laughs> I thought you said Taylor May. Yeah. Taylor Moon. This is the one Taylor Port. <laughs> and we have a new addition to the team. Yes. Another fella yes. to, you know, give an opinion yes. with Big yes. Will. Yes. Introducing Made in Philly. <laughs> Going yeah. on, made in Philly, the Hazel you know. Eye Killer. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Let him introduce himself. Okay, go ahead. What's going on? It's your boy, Made in Philly, um, artist, designer. Um, I am thankful to be here. Um, and um, the latest edition. The latest edition. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So yeah. we are live right now in the 305 at an amazing restaurant, Black Owned. I'm black and I'm proud. Well, um, I crave right in the middle of Liberty City, 64th Street and Northwest 7th Avenue. If you watching right now and you in the 305, make your way, come join us. We're having a great time. So we're gonna get our eat on because yes. this is a mukbang edition. Yeah. Right? Yes. Yes. And, I'm and, and we're all hungry. I'm starving. Okay, I, didn't I didn't eat no lunch. I didn't eat no lunch. I'm, I'm hey, awake. You know, they ain't eat nothing because they're like, we're gonna right. eat. Right. Right. We're starving yourself about to get out of room. But you know what happens when you eat, don't eat for the whole day, you find you get full after two bites. Nah, I'm gonna eat. Not this body. She's like, not with this body. All the time. <laughs> so you know we're from the 305, so I'd like them to introduce what they're drinking. Bugatti, you asked for it first. What exactly is this for those that don't know what this is? So this is the flop, and it contains fruit punch and lemonade. It is actually the original flop. If anybody tells you different, they are a flop. Okay, <laughs> they're not from the 305. Okay, but let's shout out to I Crave because we are about to get our eat on. And when you get served your food, I want you to tell everybody what you're exactly eating, what you ordered. So first up, I don't know who's coming first. This is Sheena Van Dyke, the owner. Okay. Oh wow! Ooh, ooh. Ooh. My food you know, came out first. first. I did not wow. ask for my food. <laughs> I did not ask for my food to come out first. Mm. But I got. Fried scrimps, mm. some green beans, mm. mashed potatoes that I love so much. And because I'm special and I'm the queen, I asked for a side of oxtails. Even though I'm it? trying to go vegan, but I still wanted to try the damn oxtails. Is this not on the menu? Not a side of oxtails. Let's know that though. This, this ain't even on the menu. Yeah, you got to be specially made. Wait, you, that. you can't come over here and ask for a side of oxtails. That's a super simple. Yeah, I said so. I got the pasta. Yeah. 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 All right, ladies and gentlemen. How you doing? Oxtail pasta. Mm -hmm. I feel like I should have ordered something else. Too. So, Bugatti, you got oxtail pasta. I do. I do. Taylor, I got oh. oxtail and grits. Oh, that looks good too. Yeah. Oxtail and grits. Anyone ever thought of eating oxtail and grits? I never yes. thought of that. Fish and grits, shrimp and grits. Oxtail and grits, Negroes and grits. <laughs> <laughs> Not Negroes. <laughs> <laughs> we had to add meat to the. We had to add some kind of right? chicken. But wait, Tell her. Tell her what's that in the little bowl? Collard greens. You know you gotta get your vegetables. Okay, in. okay, okay. She got collard greens. I gotta get vegetables somewhere now. Right. And this is the other owner, guys. Yeah, Eric Vendetta. What? 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 The husband and wife owners. Yeah, yeah. That's cute. That's a Philly. What did you get? So I got the oxtails and grits. 
Absolutely. We don't got this in Philly, so I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I'm being explored. I'm, I'm being right, adventurous. So, yeah, Chris, Talk to me. All right, so shouts to I Crave. Um, what did you get? Uh, Come on. Oh, you you guys it? want a hot sauce? You see it? Back yes, cheese. please. Always. I'm black. I yeah. Need to my and this golden fried chicken. And they get three pieces. That looks so good. Look at it. That looks golden. so good. Yeah, I might not do a lot of talking today. I ain't gonna lie to you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna I'm gonna be real quiet about it. Thank you very much. You know you gotta have some hot sauce with the chicken here. You can't have chicken without hot sauce now. No, you can't. I'm just saying. <laughs> okay, I, okay, I fried it in. So can we first, before we start eating, clap it up for I Crave and this food? Because I came now, ladies. Eat my scrams. Okay. All right, y'all. So yeah, tonight we're at I Crave. If you're watching right now live from 305, make your way over here. And um, you know how we start the show of Let's Pop Off, right? Mm -hmm. We started off, you know what I just realized? Mm -hmm. And before I take my first bite of food, I'm gonna tell you what I just realized. Mm -hmm. When you get into it with someone, right? When you got beef, you got a problem, they rub you the wrong way or whatever, usually people would expect for you to just keep on going back and forth, you know, complaining or arguing or whatever, ping pong, ping pong. But you know what's the best remedy that not only gets under their skin on, about but it. gets inside their soul mm -hmm. to put them on the invisible list and ignore <laughs> them yeah. and let them argue by themselves because <laughs> i'm over here eating popcorn uh -huh. minding my own business and ignoring you yep so shout out yep. to everybody on my invisible list and on their invisible list because i'm sure <laughs> i'm also my busy. team make people invisible often so that's what I just realized, guys. Don't argue. Just make people invisible. Bye. I'm not arguing with you. Bye. Bye. All right. So what okay. order are we going to go in? Let's start with new guy. Tip. Oh, yeah. Let's yeah, start with new, new guy. Hey, new guy, pop your cherry. Pop your cherry. You know what I just realized, Cherry? Um, so, so you know what I just realized? No. What'd what? you just realize? What? <laughs> Why do we pay um, like over like well I guess we're in the club like six to a thousand dollars for a bottle when the bottle is really forty five dollars. Yes. So so is like liquor like the new drug? Like you know is that like that's a great drug? question. I don't think but it's the liquor. I think it's because people try to show they ain't broke. I'm sorry. I'm about my liquor. I think I'm a slow star. Get drunk in the car. They go to club. I'm pregame. I'm old school. Pre-game. Well, I like to hang with the, with the guys that's popping the six and seven thousand dollar bottle. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta be like, I can I'll be over that one. More ice, please. That's crazy. Yeah. 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 But I'm going to be before I get there, though, because just on. in case you try to be sticky with the bottles, don't worry about the sweet Come heart. Come on. That's true. Don't worry about, about, about the sweet heart. Hey, you know they be switching it up. They that tell you Don Julio, but it be the eight Don Julio. Come on. Yeah, you got to be careful with that one, because a lot of the regular clubs do switch up the bottles. I'm not going to name nobody, because I don't want us to get black. But y'all got to stop doing that, because people be getting alcohol poisoned when y'all do that. So stop doing that to people. But you know, once you get drunk, you can't tell the difference. No, yes, you can. In my bartending days, I swapped out plenty of bottles. No. <laughs> okay. And you can tell too. I was wow. giving them. I was giving them Russian liquor, and it was the next one. Some old crystal. It Not was only do you taste it or bro, bro you feel it. it the next day, or you feel mm -hmm. it that night. Like yeah, it right. treats you different. Cause like, cheap liquor knock you loose, boy. So, mm -hmm. Cheap liquor put you down. Put you down. So do you think you should pay like like if if you don't want to pay the full price for liquor? Should you get the cheap liquor and like a, a, and like a good bottle? So you should <laughs> no. Like, or should you or, or you want to like pay the full price? Drink at home. Full price is eight hundred dollars. Nah. If you want to pay two hundred, then you get the cheap liquor. Nah, fam. Yeah. Drink at home. Well, I'm a girl. I'm a girl. I'm gonna tell you what you should do. I'm gonna tell you what you should do. Get us drunk before we go, and then get the cheap liquor while we're there. We'll never go to difference. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's our show. Man, hey, I see y'all over in the section. Y'all look good, though. Look yeah. Good. I'm going to be falling out. Well, that was a good one. Who's next? Taylor, you want to go next? Yeah, I'll go next. You know what I just realized? I realized this today. I got Karen tendencies. Mm. Karen? Yes. No. No. Yes. I was walking my dog, and I saw this little white lady let her dog take a poo poo in front of my building. And I said, hmm, <laughs> if this was me, uh -huh. what would happen to me? You know? So I proceeded to take out my cellular block and I said, click, 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 click. <laughs> Sent that right to the leasing office. So you're not going to get me. I paid too much rent 
to see your little Pomeranian mm -hmm. skipping a doo doo in, in front of my goddamn building. And now I don't give a damn about it because I know if it was me, she'd have did the same thing. Straight to the well, I'm going to say you was a half ass Karen. I'm sorry. I'm Karen. I'm sorry. Because the real the real Karen would have approached her in the midst really? of. Oh, no, I did. I, I was, oh, okay. I put my phone real hot. No, said, no, 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 no. And I said, You're not supposed to do that. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. 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 That's, that's really a Karen. That's a real Karen. What's she going to do? Fight me? No. <laughs> I think not. Oh, we don't care about that. Um, okay. Well, you know what I realized? No. I realized that Tiana Taylor really took Iman Schumpert to the bank in the divorce. Mm -hmm. What mm -hmm. happened? I don't haven't heard the name. Oh my gosh. She got like houses, cars, mm -hmm. she got monthly alimony, she got child support. Like oh, yeah. this man is baroque. Okay. Mm -hmm. I didn't even, I didn't even know that he got took into the cleaners like that. Because, because he tried to hide assets and she said, You play stupid games with stupid prizes. Is that what happened? Mm -hmm. Oh my God, I feel so check. bad for you. The <laughs> worst thing you can do is piss out, piss your part, ex partner off. Yeah, yeah within a, off, yeah. Hey, I agree. I agree. Wait, but I didn't wait, know wait. the I didn't know the extent of everything that she had taken until I saw a meme of him um, with another um, uh, Instagram um, personality. But they were talking about like how you get taken to the bank by your exes and like you know don't play no stupid. What you say? Win, play stupid games. Hey, but you have on itchy. Yeah. Well, you make kind of drilling in you. I feel bad for him, though. He's broke down. Now you gotta do it. And they just killed him off of um, off of the shot. So I don't know how he gonna make his money. You gotta get to the acting because before even then, he was just in um the Netflix series. Then you better get his acting skills together. But is not he the one that caused the divorce? Is he? I'm not sure. Yes. Yeah. That's what they say. That's what they say. It's always us. Fifty Cent's gonna put him on power soon. He gonna. He's gonna be an actor soon. He's gonna be straight. He's gonna be on Raising Payment. He's gonna be on. He's gonna be on BMF. 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 He's gonna be Look, I had a bunch of them, but I ain't gonna lie. Nobody knew the We ain't say no grace. We just started eating. We ain't say I said grace in my head. I said mental grace. Mm. <laughs> They're like, I'm gonna say grace after I eat. Like, God, thank God. God. On my heart. Listen, <laughs> well, that's the blackest thing I ever heard. What does that mean? God knows my heart. You know that I'm, I'm delivered. I'm, I'm, I'm delivered from this food because it's hate. She's like, I was like, wait a minute. Ain't nobody, nobody black people hold hands. We say a little grace. Hey, no, we just all I heard. Yep, 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 yep. That's yep, it. You yep, know how hungry I am. Get to yours. He said, never trust me. Y'all, eat that chicken. Oh, you're talking about the chicken, huh? Mm -hmm. What they say? It look good, though. <laughs> <laughs> so that was your part of the show called, you know what I just realized? Clap it up, clap it up. Clap it up. Lots of good stuff we just realized today, guys. All right, up next is the Let's Talk About It. Woo -woo. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> she in oxtail pause that she uh, excited. Oh, nice. so good. So fun. All right, so. If you're out and about, right, guys, having fun at the bar, and you casually, while you're like drinking your liquor, feeling yourself, you look cute, you at the bar, and you start flirting with someone because you're liquored up and you're feeling nice, the vibe, the club, and everything, or a bar, wherever you at, an event party. What about the next day? You exchange numbers. If you were sober, you probably wouldn't have exchanged numbers, but you did because you were tipsy, feeling nice, right? Mm -hmm. okay. So what are your thoughts when you wake up the next morning, if they hit you, do you owe them anything? No. Even though you were liquored up, <laughs> and you know what I'm saying? I was at the bar, club, talking through the liquor. Do people take casual flirting too far? Yes, That's the question. question. When you text me in the morning and say, hey, what's up? We had fun last night. You're instantly blocked. Because, nigga, I don't know you. Who are you? <laughs> you're a figment of my imagination. Oh, my God. Unless wow. the vibes is really popping like that, then I'm right. But Let me get the hustle. Then now my blockhead is strong. Oh, it's my fault. Are you crazy? See you on the flip side. Unless you got to connect or you bought me a bottle, then I'll keep your number. <laughs> but the next oh. time I'm going to clear, like, hey, what? hey, oh, my goodness. <laughs> See that I feel this? So all it takes is a Bottle. You hear that, fellas? It's tasty. tough out here. Mm. Tasty, because I know that, because I don't wait on lines. So I need to know somebody who's in the club. And if you here, I know you have. <laughs> so you're so you so you a flirter to get in? Yes. Oh, okay. I like to be the princess of the spot because I know somebody in there. I don't wait on lines. Mm. I don't be like, oh, pay. No, I pay nothing to go. I walk around, pay the mm. I'm bad. If I gotta, 
I know somebody in the game, but I was cute. <laughs> okay, wait. But you know what too about it? It's like. But another thing about it is when you're drinking, when you're at the club or an event, music's playing, you're on a different vibe than real life vibe. You're yeah. like. You know, back in the day when I was a Hennessy girl, oh my, oh my goodness, oh. Oh. you could not tell this Scorpio nothing because she ran the world and the club in my mind, right? <laughs> and so sometimes I would give my information and my number to someone in real life I would never. So when they were the next day hitting me up or whatever, you were cute in the dark and in the liquor segment. You know what I'm saying? Oh in real God. life, I don't owe you anything. So. I don't think you owe anybody anything if you're flirting with them the night before at a club having fun. I don't think you owe anybody anything either. I think that you should just be mindful of who you're sharing your space with, right? And those then under the influence of alcohol. Damn, was I being responsible? That's not fun. I'm no, taking, taking bro. Like, but don't be so give them your phone number. Like, okay, like, like give them somebody else's number. No, because they like to call and write you in their face. Like, I'm going to call you right now. Like, yeah, yeah, I ain't got my phone number. I don't care. They be excited they got your info. Yeah, yeah they say you got the right after the suit. Do they really be excited? You got to play the odds. You don't just talk to one girl in the club. We're going to talk to all y'all asses. Look, listen, I'm going to get you. Somebody going to call me back. Listen, um, um, that's that's right. Right. listen, you don't be talking to the one girl all night. That's, 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 that's too much investment. We in the club. I don't know you like that. Listen, there's a lot of girls in here. I got to shoot my shot at least by 40, 50. Because I know 40, the range. 50. Not a 40, 50, you might get five. You get it. Yeah, 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 but not all night. That's, that's, that's not true. Billy, really, what are your thoughts? You're very quiet over here. Is that true? Let me my screen while I hear it. I am what they call the sniper. Oh, my God. If I if I see something, I'm, I'm going to get it. Or I'm going to maybe pop a bottle or something or see, you know, what's, what's going on. Oh, you're going to show off with a bottle? He definitely will. Remember, you That's know, show off with a bottle? On. Might go up to the bar, drop my, my, my American Your Express. Ameri- like, oh. <laughs> and you know she's looking. <laughs> I ain't even my, my bad. You wanna you wanna drink though? She's like, oh. Are you parched and thirsty? Yes. <laughs> I hate when I just drop fifty thousand so, like that. So <laughs> so that's what I'm gonna do. And then you know, mm-hmm. like a drink. I'm gonna get you a bottle. You want? Oh, okay. Are you really? You're very generous. So, I'm so a very generous a girl, person. So if a girl flirted with you, the mm-hmm. next no, I mean, if you flirted with a girl and then the next day because you gave her your number, she starts flirting back and trying to talk to you, but you don't, you're not really interested. How do you handle that? Because now she thinks you like her. You gave, you made her not thirsty when she was parched. <laughs> like, what happens next? She just be like the club girl, you know. She just come out with you know, like, you know. Be like the club girl. Hmm. What you doing later? We, you know, we figure it out. Yeah. Do we get breakfast after the club at least, though? I make breakfast. Waffle House. <laughs> oh, no, we, we ship it. Waffle House, twenty-three dollars. Uh, yeah. He knows the price and everything. Yeah, he always get two thousand. What's twenty-three yeah. dollars? Come to the house. I'm making breakfast at the crib. Whoa, we buying it. Wait, wait. I heard you say something like she's a club girl now. So are they like? I mean, I mean, it, it, it kind of depends. If I want to like talk to her, like but okay. if, if she wasn't like, you know, maybe she gave me an Instagram. I'm like, damn, she wasn't even like that, you know, because I was drinking, you know, be drinking Casamigos or whatever we was drinking. She might not have been <laughs> like that. <laughs> he said Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> he said Instagram. Why well, been at the game too long? He had Instagram. the Migo goggles on. Nighttime. Clubs look good. When the red lights hit her, like damn. Hey, she has a glow. How you playing off though? Shit. How you play it off when you look at it? But like, come on, you got no opportunity. What you do? How you play it off? Wait, wait. Oh, oh, y'all can got an only one who can think we ugly. No, I'm ugly too. Hold on. But the people that are ugly too, girl, they're ugly too. Do people keep saying the club to the lights come on anymore? I haven't done that in years. I mean, I thought I was out. Yeah, I have. Recently. Or you walk into a car and you get a real good look. You're like, no, no, no. That's why you put me in my Uber because I'm going home. Oh, you're talking Uber. This is a different time. I'm talking about. You're paying for my cat. But I ain't from here, you know, I'm from New York. So you put it in my cabin, I'm going home. Oh, my, it got to be real special to pay for yeah. this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you pay for my cabin, not, then you're definitely on the block list. Yeah, I'll definitely stay out until the lights came on. But I didn't come out until 2 o'clock anyway. I was walk outside. I got to see what you're doing. It was a late night vibe anyway. Pass me the, pass me the hot sauce. This you know what? It's so bomb. I'm going to take it back to the, you know Thank what you I know. just realized segment? I'm taking it back. These green beans and mashed potatoes and these scrims are good as I'm dancing over here while y'all guys are talking about a club. (laughs) Mm. All right. Now it's time for the show called Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Survey Says What? What? All right. A survey says 53% of adults say 
that they have between one and four close friends, right? Mm -hmm. While 38% say that they have five or more close friends, and 8% say that they don't have no close friends at all. Whoa. Okay. So where do you guys fall, and why do you think that is? So do you have a, a big amount of close friends? Five to eight, is it one to, five, one to four, five to eight, or none at all? I the know. older I got, the smaller the circle. For real. Mm -hmm. For real, when I was younger, hung with a bunch of girls, like in different areas, and a lot of them, and as you got older, things just changed, right? You evolved and the paths are different, but then you start realizing like everybody doesn't have the same interest or best interest in you. So then you kind of decrease the size of the circle. So I'm probably like the 53%. I have between one, one and four, and four mm -hmm. um, that I can truly call on and vent to, and I don't have to worry about my secrets coming out. You know, because I had to whoop some tricks oh, about telling my secrets. You know? But. You know what? I want to know, like, you guys, what do you guys think? Because in my brain, and maybe I'm wrong, guys have a lot of boys. Like, guys have mm. a crew of friends. Is that just so crazy? Am I wrong? No, you bring it up. It's so crazy because I was just discussing that with my, with my man. That I'm like, guys have, like, they boys, but they don't got them. Boys, boys, like they sure. boys, boy, it's a difference. Like, oh, these are my boys I can't get, I go to the gym with, I play basketball with. But they boys, boys, that they do they dirt, dirt with, or they like really themselves with, is very select few. Yeah. Like, it'd be one or two of them. And I'm like, these are your friends, they ain't my friends, they my boys. And they have a different tier of friends yeah. girls. Yeah. So what are your thoughts, Philly? I, I think I probably have like, between like one to four, you know, like real, like close friends, like real guy friends. Now I have a lot of associates, you know, so I, I you know, call them, you know, associates, like the homies, you know, there's different places that I know we about to go to the club. I know he going to, you know, but. They walk with everybody yeah, like that. No, listen, I, I have, just being in Miami, I have learned so much. You might think. Oh, Miami. Yeah. Then someone, you know, is your, is your homeboy, and then you go to the bathroom, he's trying to talk to your girl. Mm -hmm. You know, or, or, or he added your girl on Instagram, or he's trying to do this, and, yeah. and, and, you know, um. It teaches you something. It teaches, it teaches yeah. you a lot. So yeah. I, I think I'm in that sentence with like between like one to four. He's like, a really like with me. Yeah. 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 What about you, Will? Because you seem like a very. So I'm talking about our phone. <laughs> you seem like a very like friendly, outgoing, life of the party type guy. Yeah, but my, but I am. But for the most part, I usually keep my five friends, and it's always been like that. Not even since I got older. Because yeah, for college mm. and the ones I grew up with, I, I don't really like making a lot of friends. Like my energy is like, if you bring somebody around and my energy don't fill them, I don't come around no person no more. Like, mm -hmm. I'm cool with her, she bring you, eh, I ain't cool with you, eh. Okay. Oh, we going out of the club, who going? She come, oh, no, nah, I'm straight. <laughs> yeah, because there's certain people you bring, I don't rock with, I ain't coming. I'm like, nah, I'm staying home. Like, I've always been like that, like, eh, who you bringing? Oh, boy, yeah, oh, nah, who's coming? Nah, who's nah, gonna be there? Nah, oh, that nah, ain't coming, I'm good. Oh, what's wrong? Nah, I rock with him, you know I rock with him. Like, because I'm always, like, too much people around, there's just too much going on, especially with, like dudes be acting too tough. Yeah. Like what you acting tough for? Hey, we it's, we vibe here. Like what you? Oh, nah. I'm always been the five, six, these the same people I still can call right now. Yo, what's good? With? We ain't gotta talk every day, but yo, how y'all boys doing in the group chat? Oh, boy, been good family. You know what I mean? I still have it from college and from when I was young. Same friends. Don't make me make new friends. Like, mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm, 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 I can agree. I'm in the same one. Did you just steal my weed? The weed just slid off the plate. I'm like, my weed walking? Oh, man. <laughs> Bugatti's a food thing. I swear oh, no <laughs> <laughs> And she got a flat. The best part. I know. I'm I'm like, the best part. I stole the best <laughs> part. I had to. He wasn't eating. He was like, no, no, I did. Nah, you know, you can't. Know, you know, you can't be the big boy who will be here. Busy, you, know, you know what I'm gonna do right now to avoid Bugatti from stealing any of my food? I'm gonna lick all my food now. <laughs> now you can't steal that. No. <laughs> I'm gonna lick all my scramps. So what about right. you, Sydney? What, what do you follow? Oh well, you know what's crazy is that in high school and just throughout my life in college, I had a lot of friends, but like he says, associates. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But in real life, I've always had like a good three, four friends too. Yeah. But I had a lot of people that I knew and hung out. And then after I became Super Cindy, it got a lot tighter. And, and I know a lot of people. So 
Yeah. Yeah. Like the more one one thing that is like such a forbidden. I want to. I don't want to say girl code because it could apply to guys too. It's like when you friends with somebody and then for whatever reason you're no longer friends and then that person starts telling the, oh, the things that you confided in them. That is such a terrible thing. Mm. Or that or, if someone tells me something, that, that's like once I hear it in my ear, it's lost, it's lost. inside of me it's forever. Lost. Like mm-hmm. you, no one will ever know what you confided in me mm-hmm. with. And I hate people like that. That's why like I have my very small circle type thing. You have a pillow talk. No, I, I, I definitely don't put on talk. You want to know why? Because I don't want to take my man's views of who I hang with. I don't want him to be able so to. So y'all don't put like, talk. So you don't. You don't uh-uh. talk. I kind of pillow talk, <laughs> but about certain things. Yeah. Like um, I be pillow talking. Like, guess what she said? Like, why yeah. would she say that? That's like Same. so stupid and blah blah blah. But to say all the inner things, all the like, inner, guess yeah. who my best friend slept with on a one night stand yeah, last exactly. day? Like, no, <laughs> no, you don't no. know nothing about my girls, my That's inner stuff. girls. Now, you talk about, the, you um, talk about the vaulted stuff. I'm not, I'm not unleashing yeah. any vaulted stuff to my pillow talk. Uh-uh. Dang, Cindy, we got friends from over the pond coming over here. We got London in the house. We got the London blokes on the, on the YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, London, so that? all the top boys in London. <laughs> so, of course, Taylor's going to see what comments we have on our YouTube page. Or what are you on, Taylor? Let everybody I'm know. I'm on YouTube and I'm on Instagram. If you're okay. there, I'm there. So get the comments. If you're get the comments. Going, how you feel. Tell me what everything. Somebody also said in here, said one to four is enough. Too much energy. More than that amount, it's an overkill. Which mm-hmm. I, can, I can definitely agree because back in my day, in my prime, she said my prime. Girl, in my prime, I was that. You were your prime still, girl. I'm about to say you only. I was prime. that friend, but I was that friend. I was a girl, girl. I'm a friend. If you don't like her, I don't like her. Like you want to fight? I was like, but I don't know. I can't even tell you back in New York how many houses are the ran down and fights out of it because for my homegirls. But then the old I got, I'm like. Damn, I'm gonna beat this girl up for you and you know, <laughs> I'm gonna bring up the phone when I'm outside. Yeah. Don't lock down my car. And I read like trials and tribulations will really show you who yep. your peoples are. Mm-hmm. And the way I mentally set up, if you don't want me to beat you up, just don't come around. Yeah. Who's this one? Who's Thank you. Oh, Thank you. Another flop. But yeah. I like what London said about the energy transference. I think that that's really big. Like the more people you have in the circle, the more yeah. energy that there is. And energy transference is so real. It is. Like people be having spirits on them mm-hmm. that I don't want. I can. I walk into a room. I can kind of tell like who I'm a vibe with, who's good, who's bad. Like I'm. Yeah. I'm blessed like that because I'm a Scorpio. So. Yeah. You know, Wait, when's your birthday? If you guys did, one more time. The third of November. <laughs> Scorpios are in the world. Uh, okay, go ahead. All right. But yes, like energy know, transference also. is so real and like you can kind of tell good, bad, and different when you walk into a room and like you can tell like, okay, this person I'm a vibe with, mesh with. Mm-hmm. So like having groups of individuals, I'm really like, I don't want that energy on me because yeah. I can go home with that. That goes into your house. Spirits jump and they on you and then you take it home and it's on your family yeah, and you wondering why y'all arguing and you don't even know it's because you hung out with those girls. Somebody had a whatever on them and it jumped on you, you know? So, uh-uh, keep it to my four. I'm yeah. good. Right. For real. So you gotta you gotta definitely protect your energy of spreading it thin and getting caught up in stuff that mm-hmm. in real life you wouldn't really get caught up for in. Sure. And friendship heartbreaks are worth it. I can say that. Are worse oh than relationship God, heartbreaks. Yes. They take you under. Exactly. That's like going through a death. For they real. take you under. It is, yeah. And when one of your homegirls backstab you yes. or do something, you're like in shock and so because now I don't know whether to pray for you or to stomp you out. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's like you really did. You God really tried stomp. it. God stomp. <laughs> like, do I pray? And then that's when the Gemini in me and the little demon on my shoulder just say, Gemini's. Big one. You know? hey. <laughs> but the Gemini in me be like, just when you start wishing stuff, like every time she look at envelope, I hope that she get a paper cut on her tongue. Ooh, I hope worse. every time she oh, got wow. a charger, she charged her phone, the charger got a short in it. Wow. I hope every time she get her car, she got five dollars on E. Oh wow. I was like, then I got to wear stuff like. Why does it sound like you did that though? She's so petty. I, oh I'm my God. Petty. She the queen of petty. I, know I hope every time she go back to Gemini, the crotch part buzz. I hope like stuff like that. I gotta start wishing and not manifesting on you because you don't tell me dirt now. <laughs> but now I'm like a witch. But you know what's so crazy? That what you're saying goes with what I was saying on. You know what I just realized? When a, a friend backstabs you, because I've been through that, someone backstabs you, co-worker, whatever, I've been through that. 
The best thing to do is ignore them because yeah. that is one thing people right, hate is right. to be ignored. It. Mm-hmm. Like it goes under their skin and in their soul. So I'm not a person who like gets revenge on people that do anything to me or whatever. I just cut you off because I'm such a amazing friend and I'm not yeah. even making it like I'm a good friend, a loyal friend that when you mess up with me and I cut you off, that's what you feel more yeah. than me being yeah. I ain't doing it. You, yeah. you messed up with me, you can go carry on and don't you ever yeah. speak to me again. Mm-hmm. Stank ass. Now. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that? That's the energy. I feel like, why are you I'm like, over it. I got angry ways. Because when I see you, it's on site. I just can't. I just can't. The, 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 like I said, you sort of like, she think you will um, You got to show her that you not to be messed with. Oh, she, she ain't giving her corpse in place. Call her man and tell how much of a host she really is. How about that? But how do you guys handle y'all friendships? Like when y'all yeah. have, have y'all ever had a breakup with a friend or like? Yeah, I have. It's, it's not easy. I cried. Well, I cried from my belly button. I, like when I cried, I was like, Ooh. <laughs> what about yeah, the man? I probably should have killed my Oh, you're saying do the guys yeah. cry with yeah. friends? Like okay. how y'all had a breakup with a friend? Like, what does that do? Is it a real thing? Like. I don't think you cry really, but but it's like 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 damn, they kind of hurt you, you know. So you gotta like just just like thug it out, you know, a little bit. Like, but but what I guys is 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 different. Like, damn, like every your homeboy, yeah. you know. I, listen, you know, you've been around me a mm-hmm. lot, and I uh, I had a homeboy around me, and uh, it went south. It went it went south. Yeah. Like, and he took too much energy from me and and everything, and. You know, you gotta just, just take it on the chin and just like just move forward and just you know try to do better. You yeah. know, um, the people that you're trying to get close to. You know. Yeah. yeah. It's okay, Philly. I know you were in the shower like. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, yourself up, Guys don't do that. I don't think we cry because we all start freaking like. This. Like for me, it's he like. He said that though. He said that on crack. But go ahead. Like, why we crying for? Like, what we like? You cool. We know you, you tough, Teddy. Go ahead. Nah, <laughs> my mother, nah, I was raised tough. Like, we were raised like, look, you ain't cool, we cool. That's it. When uh-huh. we see each other, we just fuck each other. They're going to catch you. They're going to catch you lacking, right? I'm, I'm not about to be like, oh my gosh, I lost my. <laughs> but don't no. No. Like, Bugatti, look, at, look here, one for you, baby girl. Up in a uh, YouTube street, they said Scorpios run the world. Yes, protect oh, your Lord. energy because you get caught up in other people's drama. As you get older, the sort of the smaller and tighter. Believe someone when they say when they show you themselves the first That's time. Yeah, I totally agree with that. So y'all Scorpios just all up in here in the damn chat and stuff. Yes, honey. <laughs> yes, honey. Go ahead, Scorpios. Before we move on to the next segment. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna ask everybody how their food's doing. How was it? You know, Girl, whatever, whatever. How was my food? Good lord. I had a piece of chicken. I had an orange. What is that? Girl, it's dead. Oh, it was pasta. Wait, it was it pasta. Was like, okay. It was so creamy. It was so delicious. So I pray you approve this message. I approve this message. Thank um, you, I pray. Oh, I well, you how's your... I ate the beak. You don't eat the beak? That's yes, you do the beak the best part. Beak That's the best part. That's the best part. Oh, she's a demon. For real? Oh my god. Yeah, there you go. You got to be a beast. You look at home. This chicken is very good. Crush like mud. Like, what's the fuck home? This chicken bone would have been just much You can eat. We're family. Oh, nah, Everybody's look, family. There's too much people watching me like, look at Big Boy Girl. Are you, are you one friend. of the people that eat the bone marrow at the chicken leg? No, no, no. I can crack it. I can crack it. Yes, I'm going to crack it. I eat the bone marrow. I got to chunk it down. That's you better eat. Y'all ate them, don't you? I crave that somebody Big Mama in the back cooking food. Because this is what good. What So you, yo, wait. Your fried chicken? Oh, you no the message? I ain't gonna lie. Okay, Taylor. I had the oxtails and grits with the side of collard greens, as you can see. My collard greens. <laughs> oh, done. Gosh. Axels and grits. Oh, you I'm done. Like, Bones and skeletons. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Keep these they, got somebody, they got somebody big mama in the <laughs> The thing with me is when I eat, I eat so slow. Like everybody at the table, I'm not, it's not just because I'm talking, but everybody at the table is always finished when I go out to dinner with my family, <laughs> a boy for whoever, a date, whatever. I'm always the last person to eat. So I eat really slow, but all I gotta say is the batter on these scrams is so friggin' light and crispy and good. My green beans, they have like a vinegary yummo. Sometimes I don't know what they did with it. And the mashed potatoes chow are so creamy. <laughs> and then I, I took a bite, a little bite out of a out of a small oxtail. 
Let they me tell you something. That sauce is our. Right. They fall mm. off the bowl. Mm. I says off the bone. Oh my you in god. Miami, are you coming to Miami? I crave. Pull I up. Crave. I'm telling you, mm. gotta pull up. We ain't gonna be disappointed. Mm. Where are we again? Where are we? I crave. Sixty-four from what? Sixty-four oh two. I crave. Uh huh. And Northwest Seventh Avenue. Seventh Avenue. Seventh Avenue. Seventh Avenue. In the middle of Liberty City. Yes. This might be the best. They have I a have parking lot. This the might be the, this might be the best food I had since I've been here in Miami. What? It's good though. Cause me and Florida food, we got a love hate relationship. Oh well. Because y'all love an Asian Latin fusion, but they love fusion. They do not be fusioning together. But this is Bussy Yussy. Mm. Not an Asian Latin. Bussy Yussy, okay. Bussy Yussy. This is Bussy Yussy. I ain't never heard that one. I'm about to use Bussy Yussy, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. All right, y'all, so. Mm, mm, hold on. Get it down, get it down, now. get it down. Get it down. <laughs> okay. So, the next segment of the show is called Relation Tricks. Trick, trick. All right. So I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with my girl. I'm sure you guys are familiar with my girl Kendra G. Her singles live oh my show. God. Shouts to Kendra G. Because she started during the pandemic just going live with people trying to connect people. Because mm -hmm. everybody during the pandemic, if you were single, you were lonely. <laughs> and she has, <laughs> she did. No, for real. And she has literally built an empire mm -hmm. doing this. So shouts to Kendra G. But there was a man on her show, single show live. And he was a single man with no kids, right? And he said that he was looking for a woman with no kids. Mm, okay. And that he believed that a woman with kids has no business attempting to, looking for, dating a man with no kids. If you have kids, you should not be dating a man with kids. And he also said that men with, that they should be dating men with kids. Like if you have kids, date a man with kids. He called it disrespectful to do that, to try to date a man with no kids. And also, you're trying to destroy the man with no kids, if you're someone with kids trying to date him. So is a woman with kids that dates a man with no kids trying to destroy his life, and is she being disrespectful? Mm. Listen. If he don't get his Dr. Umar sounding ass up out of here, cause he don't piss me off. Cause that you making it seem like so now if I got a little pigeon coming out of me, a little crotch goblin, I gotta find a man with a crotch goblin too, so we can be the crotch goblin Brady bunch. No, we can't do this. Sometimes, especially this day and age, it it is hard to find a person with no kids. Everybody got at least one, a one up up in the chamber. So if you don't got one and you find a, a lady that you will find your interest in and she got a kid, brother, then you just better hold it down because it's slim pickings out here. It is, it is a desert. It's it's looking looking real bad. I don't have a problem with a man with no kids Long dating a woman, dating a woman with no kids. The problem. I don't have a problem with that. Like that he wants to find a woman with no kids. Mm -hmm. Because when you date someone, you don't have kids, but you're dating someone with kids, you don't know what you're walking into, whether an issue with her baby daddy, or even I'm gonna say for the females too, if you're single and you're looking for someone and you don't have kids and you're trying to find somebody and then he has two or three or one with a bonkers baby mama who's acting crazy. <laughs> It's a lot to be with no kids and to date someone with kids because you don't know what the situation you're walking into actually is because the, the person can even not be truthful about the situation they're in. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Here we go. But to call it disrespectful and... Yeah. That was a, that, that's yeah. a bitch that's much. A bit, yeah. Go ahead, talk to him. So you're, you're a mom. You go first and I go next. Okay. Yeah, Bugatti, you're a mom. <laughs> and how do you feel about... Have you dated guys with no kids or do you... I have. Okay. And I've dated guys with no kids and I've been always been a parent of I've always been a single parent, and um, the guys with no kids don't really understand, right, the timeline and your time constraints because, you know, they don't have any children. Um, the comment that he made about it being disrespectful, I think that that was a bit much. It's not disrespectful. It's just a preference. Mm -hmm. You prefer not to, have, not to date a person with kids, and that's fine. You don't have to force your opinion, your belief system on nobody else. Mm -hmm. um, it's not a bad thing. I think just like you said, you have to be careful of the situation because you don't know what you're stepping into as far as the baby father is concerned or baby mother for that matter. Um, people crazy out here. So be very careful, you know, vet the person, vet the situation. Um, I wouldn't introduce my kids early on to somebody. I would kind of get to know them 
holistically, you know, on that on that type of time before I introduce them to my kids. But would I date somebody with kids? I want to date somebody with kids because versus me dating somebody that doesn't have kids because somebody with children they understand the time, they understand what you what you're putting yeah. to your family, they yeah. understand. Like, you know, the role that they have to play because they're playing it themselves with their own children. So that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for me a I'm looking for me a daddy with some kids. <laughs> yeah, pull up on me now. My kids and your kids can My be kids, your kids, we can be a Brady Bunch team. I don't care if you got five, six, seven. I'm gonna five, six, seven myself. So come on, we can be a baby. Put them all together and what we got. Okay, not the mom. You know what's crazy? Before I got here, I was at my cousin's house. She had four kids, she's in her 40s. And she complained about her bills. I'm like, get your husband. She's like, I'm gonna get a husband, he can't have no kids. I'm like, oh, and I looked at her, I was like, how does that make sense to you? <laughs> she was like, no, because if he have kids, his kids can't come live here, because my kids are here, you better have a house for all my, and I'm like, for a person who cry about bills, you sure? Got a lot of <laughs> you sure? Asking for a lot. High yeah. expectations. And I'm like, Sue, somebody who don't have kids, Sometimes it's difficult when you get into it. Now, I, I used to be one of those guys, I dated somebody with two kids. I had none. And you you so used to being single with no kids living free. Here she come with her two. Now it's like, oh, we gotta take the kids to the movie. We movie kids. Why are we taking the kids? Like, you know what I mean? And it takes a little while, it's a it's an adjustment. Like we posted in a group, you see the lady who was talking to the guy about her daughter, he could correct her. The step, yeah, the step. And it's yeah. like, wait a minute, mm -hmm. I'm paying rent in this bitch. She drinking my juice, sucking up my <laughs> seat. She burned up electricity. She in this thing, and if she doing something I can't talk to, right. you tripping. Yeah. Oh, the mom was tripping. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And that's the kind of things that you you could come across when you a single man, no kids. And now she got kids. She trying to give you, oh, you can't discipline my kids. Well, they don't call me to pick them up from school. Okay, ah. so let me play. But now let me play devil's advocate. Talk to me. You got the ones that, oh, I'm dating somebody new. This your new daddy. Call him daddy, kids. And now the kids out here confused because now you don't bought Mr. Jones over, and mommy friend. Now he call him daddy. He got a real daddy. Ooh, and then no, now you and Mr. Jones ain't banging them out. And now he got that six, seven, that 11 daddies up and down the streets because everybody you bring through that door is daddy or this your new stepmom. First of all, you, first of all, it should be a, like, if it, if, it ain't, if you know it ain't a real thing, you shouldn't be bringing people around your kids. But right. you know they do though. And that's crazy to me. That's the first time that like I can't be with you. You just it's only been one week. Why your kids in my house? They should, I'm a stranger. Mm -hmm. I'm a stranger to you. Why they in here mm -hmm. running around tearing stuff up? Hey, you and the little things gotta go. <laughs> like it's normal. I realize sure. like mothers these days, especially in the dating pool, <laughs> and like having friends who are dating, and, you know, with kids and so forth and so forth, so forth and so forth. There is no more mommy's friend. There is no more like. You get to know me first before you know my kid. The first day they do it, the proper little man, man. Like, yeah. Oh, no, that's, that's, that's wild to me. That's, yeah. wild. that's that. wild to me. It's do super wild. I had a homegirl. She's not my homegirl anymore. <laughs> one for this one, one reason that she had a kid. And you know, her and her child's father wasn't together no more. And she was saying, I'm like, okay, girl, get your life. My money to life too. But at the time, her child was still in toddler stages. And she's like, oh, I really like him. He's super nice. And I mean, he was cute or whatever. He had you know, a little point. And he was taking care of them. But she had the man really doing like daddy duties, like changing her kid and everything. I said, girl, oh, you don't know what happened. I said, killing this. And she's like, he's so good to us. I'm like, you've only known him for months. And you oh, had you your kid calling him dad. That's not her father. Oh, her wow. father is alive and well in her life. What is wrong with you? Wait, wait. Talk to me. What was Tony going to say? Now, now, if you're dating someone and it's not your kid, do you have to buy them real things? What do you I mean, mean real things? No, what do you mean? As, as opposed to fake? <laughs> like, no, fake no. like, like, if it's, that's your stepson, you give him fake Jordan. No, 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 you gotta give him real James. Oh my God, that's, that's disrespectful. Wait, wait, wait. Now, if you give him fake Jordan, if Just you call him your stepson, that means you rock with him. You yeah, rock with the family. You gotta get the real James. He can't get the real James. Wait, wait, wait. Are you, are you wearing the real James? I'm wearing the real He's not my real son. Oh my God. If you want to trick, you make James. Billy. If fake son, fake James. Lucky charm, we get them Bucky charm. No way! That's the Wicks for bread. That's the Wicks for bread. Hey, that's the fact how you gonna get out. If I was a mom, I would rather you not even buy him to just get him some nice kicks. For real. You know, that matches clothes or whatever. But don't do my baby like 
fake. Be no, be no, be no, be no, I will right. lock the cookie up and you will not see it for a minute. my baby come home talking about he got bullied, bullied, bullied because of some fake shoes. Now it's going to be like, not bro, now why would you buy him them fake shoes? Now his daughter's doing ballet. Come on. That's going to look kind of different, boy. Don't look like No, not do that in the end. But you know what? I have a situation from when I was dating this guy, right? And what the crazy thing about it is I, I don't have kids, but back then, obviously, I didn't have kids. And he had a son, and the baby mama lived in the same building as him. Oh, no. Ooh. So they co-parented the son, and they had, like, um, their work schedules were opposite, so the son would be there when she was at work, vice versa, whatever. And the, the difficulty I had, I never expressed it to him, but the difficulty I had is that every time it was time to go to a movie or something and I'm ready to go be with my man and he did not live close, he lived down south and I lived all the way up north, <laughs> he would be like, oh, is it okay if Billy comes? And I'd be oh, like, hey, no, no, what no, the? No. Send Billy to that he, he and, he was the type, and he was the type of son that's like, Dad, who oh, 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 I'll be like, I'd be sitting there like, and, and I'm a Scorpio that can't really hide my emotions. Like if I'm annoyed, it's all over my face. So I'd be like in my head, like me, that phone. Oh, oh, I'd be pissed off. Oh, you thought she called him off. I had to go, she had some kind of excuse for him. Are you going out? No, and that was the thing. Like even the days that were, even the days that were supposed to be hers, Miraculously, on a weekend, on. it was she, he. Yeah. She couldn't. She got called into work. I was like, she probably had to borrow her friends. Come on, hold it. Hold and it was just so she difficult because I liked him. The the stuff was real good, <laughs> but I just could not get hey. past Billy. I was like, I am not nobody's stepmama. I'm freaking out of here. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Yeah. Would you pay for a babysitter if you were dating a chick with a, with a kid to, to take out? Yeah, I'm a, yeah, yeah I'm not I'm not you should. Sure. You wouldn't. What? Where's that yet? Since we got cash out, that's it. Where's that yet? Why are you worried? Okay, hold well, on. Time out. Why are you worried about the dad? You worried about taking me on a date. If there's a child there. If you can't go, guess we can't go. Oh. Hey, hello? Do you like to go to a date? Because you're free, huh? All right, y'all, let's go. Let's fly. So you got uh, not you with a Rasta. For a babysitter? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. You know, if you want to babysit the poom poom, you have to babysit the picnic. That's why you call another one. That you saw. Not to know. No, I'm disagreeing with you, Will. Like, if you want to take out a girl and you know she's like struggling and trying to make it happen, and, should be dating, and you want her, <laughs> you hit her. You the one want to take her out of the date. So it was your choice wow. to pick a struggling uh, actress. That's why the first conversation <laughs> you got to listen to the that's first right. conversation. Those first two conversations tell you everything you know. Let me tell you about, they'll tell you everything. You just got to ask a couple of questions. Just listen. And they're going to tell you everything you need to know. You're like, uh -huh. Oh, well, that might be some Miami uh -huh. stuff. Uh -huh. I, I hear down here in Miami. Y'all be spilling the tea. Oh, my really? lifestyle. I've got yes. to oh my my car. Car. Let me see. I need a babysitter if you want to take me out. Uh, my motor is rambling. <laughs> hey, it's the first, second conversation. She's telling you about her motor. I like Grand Legs. I like 1942. 1942? <laughs> you like 1942? So, yeah, they come off real aggressive now. They, they let you know. But I see that. They let you know real far. They roll it all out. Like, yeah. These are my bills. I'm like, I got bills too. Let me take my bills. Like, what you want to do? You pick up any of these? Like, you want to tip a tatter. Yeah. I just bet you we ain't talk two minutes. You already giving me your bills. You're, hey, man, you tripping. We need Wait, why you being sassy? That's <laughs> Is that what they said on the socials? Yes, you being sassy. No. <laughs> what are they saying? That don't make you sassy. They say, hey, Will, everybody, how's your food? They said, we stay so hungry. If y'all hungry, come down here and get some. Go get some. Because oh, there ain't yeah. nothing left for y'all but bones. <laughs> um, some more Scorpios run the world. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, blah. Oh, oh, we got Scorpios in the building. And then they say, Cindy, really, really couldn't come? Come on, you no. Want to be Billy the slime? no, Billy. No, uh -huh. you're gonna be the slime, right? Just the poppy. I need Why the you poppy, be not the, the Billy. Billy came sometimes, but not all the time. Yeah, right? I'm like, no, I'm not Billy Mammy. There's a, there's a. Oh, really? Right? You ain't no Mammy, right? Yes, exactly. right. That's why you put things in proportion. Call the babysitter. You call grandma. You go not. But they drop him off. Yes, drop him <laughs> off. Sounds good. What y'all said? What I said? I'm the bad guy, apparently, right? Yes, well, it's and, different, right? Well, no, you're supposed, supposed to come with the babysitter. babysitter. No, no. You supposed to come with the bread and say he's going for the babysitter. That's what you supposed to do. Nah, before you. You stacking on your pimping. I don't know what you're doing. 
You watch your kids for you? Oh, you got to watch your kids for you? Oh, yeah, you got to be a bill right here. All right, boy, I'm going to talk to you later. Oh, wait, you are dirty. No, I don't like to waste time. See, we like to waste time and go down these road now. Hold on, let me see. If you broke, just say you broke. If that's what you want to call it, call it what you want to. I don't want to. They're going to call you broke because you want to pay for their kids. Who tripping? That ain't my little boy. I ain't make that. That's what they going to say. Like, bro, he ain't even want to pay $40 for the babysitter. He broke. Uh, exactly. I can live with that, but you want with your baby so I'm on to date somebody else. But enjoy the enjoy the little tap bad bad tonight. You know what I'm saying? Come look with you. I'm so that was um, what's that remember? Race and tricks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. So now we're gonna move on with Taylor telling us hot off the swipes. But before you begin that, Taylor. I just want to do a quick moment of silence for my brother, Fat Man School, who yeah, passed yeah. away. Yeah. My heart is so heavy on that because during, especially during the pandemic, he and I would have conversations about a lot of things about radio and weight loss and how he was on a healthier path and a lot of things. So I just want to send prayers up that he may he rest in peace and his family. Just let's give a moment of silence for Fat Man School. All right, thank you so much, guys. Yeah. And yeah. Fat Man School, a New York legend. Yes. Basement party legend. Top yes. dog. Iconic. But hot off this. this hot off the what? Hot off the swine. Hot off the swine. Swine, 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 swine. Have you ever seen this debacle between Ice Spice and Cleo Trapper? Can you please tell me? Yeah. Explain yeah. it to me because I don't know. Oh, it's, tell me. All right. I'm going to give it to you a quick fast. And yeah. Party. Cleo Trapper is a rapper out of New York and so is Ice Spice. Cleo Trapper has been going viral for me for the past five or six years on Instagram by herself for correcting people's spelling and her own little skits. Her and Ice had linked up two years ago. Cleo Trapper started her music career. Ice is now on tour. So, hey girl, you know what will be super cute? Yeah. We'll go on tour together. Okay. And Cleo's like, oh yeah, that'll be cute. We girls, you know, we're gonna go on tour. Get onto the tour. Ice Spice, thought her shit don't sting and she was in her Mariah Carey era. And didn't want to let Cleo um, let her people help Cleo with her bags. They went on secret um, dinners and ate steak while they was eating McDonald's. No. Kept her on the tour bus because she didn't want to interact with nobody. When they were on the tour bus, she didn't want anybody to speak down to hair and makeup for nine to 12 hours at a time. Um, Told her that her mama couldn't come behind stage after and it stopped because what she, the hell? she didn't think that she was a real artist. Told her that she was ungrateful for the chicken salad she got her at an Italian restaurant. So Cleo Chapel finished up the tour professionally uh -huh. and then went on a six part TikTok Dang. Um, and ex exposed it. it. Turned her every which way but for <laughs> really? and exposed her. But before this, it's another mm -hmm. artist called Baby Stormy, who's an African American emo alternative music artist who had exposed Ice Spice for who she really was before. But oh, right, because she was saying like she's not black, uh -huh. and she's trying and to her, appropriate. And her mama was an uh, R word and all yeah. stuff like that. So she kind of forewarned what happened to Cleo Chopper, and Cleo was kind of like, yeah. Yeah, it's true. It's true. And this mm -hmm. is how she did it. So co signed it. Co signed it. And it was like, I was her token black friend, and she played me and took my speeds. And this is who she really is. So she was saying like that uh, she got her onto the tour so that she could bring in black mm -hmm. people. And mm -hmm. was mad. Her fan base. That, yeah. wow. Her fan base stole her whole like aesthetic because Cleo Chopper was really like the emo, bubble yeah. face, chunky boot type of thing. She said, we were friends, so I didn't think anything of it. But then when you don't want to let your people talk me with my bag to the, to the bus, uh -huh. and my mama can't come behind stage and I be eating a McChicken while you eating escargot, we got a problem. And we're going to say it But why not if you're Ice Spice and you know, deep down inside you're really a hater, why not just get a guy rapper to come on tour with you that has a fan base in that way? But you know she can't you know? do that because she presents herself as a girl's girl. She's Nikki. Oh, oh. Baby Nikki. Oh. So she Baby gotta Nikki be who? Exactly. No. But she's a girl's girl, so why would you have a man? And no man's gonna take her seriously. And people on the social say this may ruin her career. What do you that, think? When she lost 520,000 followers on her, and this is behind that. Uh -huh. Oh, I thought it was behind 520,000 520, followers she lost behind this situation. Mm -hmm. But I thought it was about the fact that she had mentioned something about us being fat, fat old big. That because like she, like she, she called us all like ozipic mm -hmm. users and oh, wow. fat hop, fat mm -hmm. big, Like it's we're all stupid together. Yes, yeah. Yes, yes, but yes. honestly, it's not over for Ice Spice. All she has to do is latch herself onto Taylor Swift. Oh. And her oh. white friends, and just go into that so world because that she yeah. has that relationship. She was at the football game at yep. the Super Bowl, clapping it clapping up with Taylor. Up. Just 
latch on to Taylor, girl. She'll be all right. But that just kind of speaks to like friendships, right? Like mm -hmm. girls, how girls yeah. do girls. Like, you know, like in this industry or in, you know, the world period, somebody doing something that you wish you could do or has the friend group that you wish you could have. And so you grab onto them and then you bring them over and you only bring them out when you got these certain but, types of people. They want you to shine, but, but not rather than that like part. Management problem? Like, like, I feel like the managers should have talked to each other to know what was like, okay, we're going to do this. Like, like, like we going to eye crave and then and then some of y'all going to finger licking. You know what I mean? It's like, they got to know They should have. Yeah, but her management, you know? she said, I literally was paying her help to help me and it was like, oh, well, you can't pay them. She's like, why? I got money. It's like, because they only here for her. She's like, what kind of foolery is this? What kind of fugazi ass stuff is this?